So assembly is really straightforward. Uh, all we're going to do is uh, put this pocket or card holder over here and this card holder with the window over here and tape them on and then do a bit of finishing work and we'll be done. Uh, but before we do that, the last thing I'll show you before we start assembling it is how to prep our main pocket uh, for assembly because there's a couple of things I forgot to show you earlier. This actually should have been done back when we made the pocket, but uh, like I've kind of, like you've probably found earlier, I don't like to have any edges that aren't uh, rounded over or finished off. And there's a little area in the middle here because you see this pocket will go here, this pocket will go over here. There's an area in the middle that doesn't have anything going over it, so this area won't be finished off. So what we're going to do is just take a big strip of tape. It doesn't really have to be this big, but it doesn't really matter that much. And just position it like this, so about half of it's hanging over the edge. And then just fold half, fold the, fold the, this half of it inside your pocket like this. Uh, I didn't position it very well, so I'm not actually going to fold it in and push it down that much. But it should be sort of like that. And then uh, take another strip, sort of like this, and just run it down the very center like that, from top to bottom. Cut off the extra you have here, and uh, we'll be ready to assemble everything. So I'm going to redo that, and I'll be back when I've done that. All right, so I finished my prep work on my main pocket, so it's time for me to tape everything together. Uh, now what you want to do before you start taping stuff together is line up both of your card holders. I'll just show you on the one, for instance, so that the bottoms are lined up like that. And then if this edge right here comes above your main uh, pocket, you just want to trim it down to the same height as this edge right here because if it's too much higher we will have issues when we're taping it so uh, trim everything down so it's a good height well don't trim this down you can just trim this edge down if it's a little bit shorter that's fine uh, but if it's taller trim it down you don't want, won't have to do anything with the sides because you can slide this back and forth a little bit to match it up uh, so once you've once everything's the right size align them like this uh, and take a half strip of tape just like half the uh, half the width of a regular strip of tape and just put it along there so that half of it's uh, contacting the surface and half of it's hanging off the edge like I've showed you lots already and just wrap it around the back of your main pocket and just squeeze and then do the same thing down here from one end to the other and up here from we're just going to be taping the first fold of this main pocket to here so just put a strip along there. And don't worry about, you, you'll notice that this strip here kind of uh, almost tapes together this, uh, this pocket here. We're going to deal with that in a second, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but just do what I said for now and I'll show you how to deal with that later. And same thing over here except we're going to be using a full strip along the bottom here and a full strip up here and a half strip on the top here. Now the reason we're using full strips along here and here is because we already have a half strip coming over the edge, right? So if we put another half strip over it, we run the risk of doubling up edges, which uh, I guess you could sort of avoid, but I, it's just safer to use a full strip. Uh, and we can't do it with this card holder, obviously, because there's a window here. So it would go on top of the window, and we don't want that. So uh, yeah, do what I've told you to do. That's what I'm going to do right now, and uh, I'll come back in a minute to show you how to uh, deal with the kind of pockets being taped together. So this is what I mean about uh, when you put the strip of tape around this area here. It kind of uh, keeps you from being able to put cards in here because it tapes all the flaps together. So to solve that just take a little knife and uh, just cut the seam, cut a, uh, a slit just like that. I'd have to go over it a few times. Just don't cut too deep too fast here. Okay, a little bit more and anyways you want to do this for all of your uh, areas like this and you might be wondering why I don't just put separate little strips like one strip here, one strip here, one strip here, one strip here. That's because if you look on my other one when it's all done you can kind of see little gaps especially right there. Here it's not as visible, but here you can see a gap. So this just prevents any of that kind of any gaps that would appear. And I've already done that to the other side 
right here as you can see you can open that up and uh, just yeah uh, to make it even easier to cut the top one here I've left it until after I cut these uh, because right after I cut them that's when I'm going to uh, tape this area down to my main pocket so uh, that might be something to consider you might not want to tape that down until you've cut the top one because it can kind of interfere up there uh, if you have a piece of tape coming over here so uh, anyways I'm gonna go cut the rest of these and I'll come back when that's done alright so I finished cutting everything out here and I uh, taped the tops as well so uh, you might look at this and think it's pretty much done but we still have a bit of finishing work to do uh, the one thing I would recommend you do is that when you're putting this half this half strip on and this half strip on if you can use a three-quarter strip and a three-quarter strip and that way the uh, the overlap at the back here will match that uh, uh, of the uh, full strip on the other side because we used a full strip, full strip over here and a half strip over here uh, so if you use a three-quarter strip over here and a full strip over here then uh, yeah it will come back the same distance and same thing for right here it comes back to there over here it comes back to about there which is about the same so yeah try and use a three-quarter strip and a three-quarter strip if you can uh, that'd be great if not then you'll just have to finish it off by putting a half strip there and a half strip there but uh, so basically the back of it is pretty much finished off already if you really wanted to you could run I, I guess you could run a, a full strip along the back here and along here but I'm not going to because I think it already looks already looks pretty good in the back uh, as for the front the only thing I'm really going to do is uh, you see right here these edges aren't finished off yet and they're kind of flimsy so the easiest way to fix that just let the camera focus here is uh, take a piece of tape a half strip cut it exactly as long as this and you, if you want to, you can notch out the corners there. It kind of helps when you bend, fold it in, as you're going to see me do in a second. And just line it up to, uh, let's see, I'll do, I'll do it on this one right here. Basically, line it up so that it covers up the surface here of this flap. And so it, so it covers it up all the way. Then come down an extra three millimeters or so. And then just rest it on the surface. You don't really want to press it down too much yet just make sure that looks pretty even and then what we're gonna do is just open it up like so and then fold it inside like that evenly along there and then push it down I think I'm gonna redo that but uh, that's the general idea and then what you do is you pull up this area here not all the way just just a little bit and you'll see what will happen here now we can pick this flap out and our new little finishing strip of tape can get tucked down in there and then it looks pretty good so basically now when it's closed you don't see an edge of our finishing strip because the edge is concealed down there so do that for we've already done it for this one do it for up here and this uh, edge here and then also this edge over here and that should pretty much be it uh, I'll come back just to make sure that's all we need to do and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done alright so I've just finished off my duct tape wallet and it looks really good uh, I did actually end up putting tape on the back just two strips uh, one right on the bottom and then one on top so uh, yeah it's really nicely finished off there as you can see nice and smooth and uh, it looks pretty good all in all you'll notice that it is kind of wrinkly and that's completely normal for a brand new duct tape wallet this, it's a, which is exactly how this one looked and this one you can see has lost pretty much all of its wrinkles and it still has some wrinkles to lose and uh, y you can just let it sit on your shelf and it'll pretty much stay like this it won't lose its wrinkles but if you fold it up and press it under some books for maybe a day or two uh, when you open it up it'll look so much different and or the other thing you can also do is just use your wallet put cards in it and stick it in your back pocket and that also does the trick pretty nicely and uh, but yeah 
The other thing you might notice is, you see my window here has several bubbles in it. That's completely normal. Uh, this one here had so many more bu bubbles than that. As you can see now, they're all gone, except for maybe one or two, but those will disappear as well. Uh, don't ask me how they disappear, because I'm not entirely sure about that. I think it must they must make their way out of the tape. I'm not sure if it's through the actual surface of the tape. I don't think it is. I think it must be through the sides of the tape. But yeah, it's kind of strange how that happens. It's kind of cool as well. You'll have to watch the bu bubbles. What happens is they end up shrinking and then just disappearing. You can push on the bubbles and uh, nothing will really happen. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess they don't cost that much to make. It's more the time involved. So uh, yeah, sorry about the length of the tutorial. I know it's probably like I'm guessing it'll be over a half hour long, which is really long for a tutorial, but to make a wallet like this, uh, yeah, I needed just to show you everything about them. I didn't want to just skip through several parts, because uh, as you can tell, they do look way better than your average duct tape wallet. So uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something from it. I uh, hope to see you again soon. So this is what the wallet looks like after uh, being pressed under several books overnight. So as you can tell, uh, it, well the first thing you'll notice is that it stays shut and it never used to do, do that, it always wanted to flip open. And this is what happens with all of the wallets is once you press them under books for for like a day or so, it, you'll notice it'll stay shut. And uh, the ones that have been, uh, th that are quite old, actually they, they just want to flip shut all the time. So uh, yeah, the, the, the glue really does set in place and it just creates a much nicer wallet over time because you might finish up your wallet and go, hey, this doesn't look anything like it looked like in the tutorial, but uh, yeah, it'll probably get better. And you've all, you'll also notice that a lot of the wrinkles that were uh, here yesterday are gone, as you can see, as are a lot, a lot of the bu bubbles here. You'll, you'll notice that like this area here is completely clear. Like I'd say probably 70% of the bubbles are gone, only the larger ones are left, and those ones are a lot smaller than they were yesterday, and they're just going to keep on shrinking and shrinking until they disappear. So I'd say in three days it'll be completely clear. But anyways, uh, all in all, it's a pretty good wallet. Uh, feel free to make any changes you want, use different lengths of tape for different things. This is just kind of a base wallet that you can start off with, and you can decide what you want to, where you want to go from there. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.